It's been a banner year for Tesla, from buying $1.5 billion of Bitcoin to the partnership with Hertz, which made the company hit the $1 trillion market cap, navigating supply chain disruptions better than many of its peers, enabling strong deliveries. The auto manufacturer certainly dominated headlines in 2021, with CEO Elon Musk selling billions of its shares. Now, some analysts say that 2022 will continue to be favorable to Tesla. Longtime bullish analyst at Wedbush, Dan Ives, contends that Tesla's stock has a clear shot to more fertile grounds. Ives says that demand in China is the fulcrum. He states that its capacity builds in Austin and Berlin, Tesla stock will move to a $1,400 base case. Ives says that their bull case is $1,800. Ives rates Tesla at outperform and is one of the most upbeat analysts on the street on the EV maker. So let's talk about Tesla's stock predictions for 2022 and beyond. How far can it go? Ives estimates 40% of Tesla's deliveries in 2022 will be derived from the lucrative China market and the supply chain issues caused by semiconductor shortages that have plagued automakers this year will abate in 2022. In turn, Tesla stands to surprise the street by delivering close to 1.5 million units by the end of 2022. The return to a focus on Tesla's fundamentals would be welcome news for the automaker's bulls. There's been a lot of pressure emanating from Elon Musk selling some of his shares to meet tax obligations. But there is a chance that Elon Musk has finally finished exercising expiring management stock options and selling Tesla stock. The chances for more stock sales by Elon Musk in 2022 are very slim. Musk exercised another 1.6 million management stock options on December 28th, buying shares for $6.24 apiece. He sold $934,090 to pay for the taxes on gains. Stock options are taxed as regular income at the time of exercise. That's it for now. Musk has exercised all his stock options available to exercise from a 2012 performance award. Recently, Musk said he was done selling, excluding the prearranged plan for those management stock options. The final tally for all of Musk's recent sales works out to be about 10.3 million shares sold in connections with stock options exercise and taxation. Another roughly 5.4 million shares were sold in connection with a Twitter poll early in November asking if he should sell 10% of his stake in Tesla as a part of the debate regarding billionaire taxation. Combined, the 15.7 million shares sold in almost 900 separate transactions works out to be about 9.2% of Musk's starting 170 million shares at the time of the Twitter poll. Not quite 10% yet. Musk still has another 2.6 million stock options from that 2012 Stock Options Award. Musk's options vest or are earned by hitting performance milestones. One more milestone exists for the final 2.6 million options to vest, which is Tesla maintaining 30% gross profit margins for four consecutive quarters. Tesla's automotive gross profit margin exceeded 30% in the third quarter of 2021. If the company can repeat that in the fourth quarter of 2021 and the first two quarters of 2022, then Musk just might earn the final 2.6 million options. He could then exercise them and sell roughly half to pay the taxes. All this has to happen before August when the options expire. Now, there's a difference between automotive gross profit margins and consolidated gross profit margins. But when the options were awarded, Tesla's revenue was essentially all automotive sales. Tesla has changed a little since then. Notably, the company bought Solar City back in 2016. Tesla didn't respond to a request for comment about any nuance associated with the gross profit margin calculation connected to the options vesting. There's a slim chance for more Musk sales related to options exercise and taxation in the middle of 2022. Investors shouldn't fear that selling, though. They should probably cheer for it to happen. It would mean strong margin performance despite the startup of new manufacturing capacity. Tesla has two new plants coming online in Germany and Texas. New capacity can drag down margins as fixed expenses hit the income statement while production ramps up over the course of a year or two. What's more, if the final options end up vesting, they shouldn't have anywhere near the impact on Tesla stock that recent selling has. The recent sales had a big impact. From the time Musk announced the Twitter poll until the day before Musk said he was done selling, Except for the management stock options, Tesla's shares dropped about 26%.
The S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average fell about 3% and 4% respectively over the same span. Since Musk's reveal that he was done selling, Tesla's shares have gained about 21%. The S&P and Dow are up about 5% and 4% over that span. Overall, Tesla's stock started the Musk selling era at $1,222.09. Through it all, Tesla's stock is down about 11%. In a note sent to Go Banking Rates, Daniel Ives wrote that the stage is now set for EVs to take a significant step forward in driving customer adoption in this green tidal wave, with many winners as part of the biggest transformation to the auto industry since the 1950s. Ives states that Musk and company have navigated the chip supply shortages better than any automaker globally over the last six months, which is why Tesla is in a clear position of strength heading into 2022 with an inflection point year ahead. While supply chain issues have been an issue for overall unit growth for Tesla in 2021, this dynamic will significantly moderate with potentially 1.4 million to 1.5 million units now within reach annually for 2022. And while China will be a key growth driver, demand is building for Tesla's Model Y in the U.S. and Europe, with 2022 likely another breakout year for Tesla and the EV industry. Now, Tesla stock has been facing heavy selling pressure to end the year, as the company's CEO, Elon Musk, has been unloading billions of dollars in shares for tax purposes. This has caused the stock to fall well off its 52-week highs, yet it's important for investors to note that nothing has fundamentally changed about the company's growth story. Tesla is still the premier electric vehicle manufacturer in the United States and a company with plenty of upside in international markets like China. With Elon Musk close to wrapping up his selling, the stock should be ready to rip back to highs in 2022. Keep in mind that Tesla has some new vehicles coming to market soon, including the Cybertruck and a semi-truck offering, which could be positive catalysts for the share price. Tesla also achieved its best-ever net income, operating profit, and gross profit in the third quarter, which tells us that the company has plenty of momentum heading into next year. The bottom line here is that Tesla is the market leader in the EV space thanks to best-in-class technology, an impressive network of superchargers, and a quirky and charismatic leader. Investors should expect big things from the stock in 2022. There will also be a renewed focus on securing battery cells in an even more competitive landscape. Gigafactory Shanghai has proven to have plenty of room to grow, and it has become Tesla's new main export hub. Tesla launched the new Model S and Model X in 2021 and added a bunch of new features to its existing lineup, but it didn't really unveil or launch a whole new product. 2022 is not going to be as much about new products for Tesla either. Tesla's 2022 is going to be about growth again, with the start and ramp-up of production at both Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. While new products aren't going to be an area of focus, you could argue that the growth is going to come from a new product. The Model Y that Tesla plans to produce at those two new factories is basically going to be a whole new version of the car, powered by Tesla's new 4680 cells. And it means that for Tesla... 2022 is also going to be about battery cells. The automaker is looking to become a major manufacturer of battery cells in 2022, which is new for the company. But that means progress. So we'll watch out for any activities from Tesla. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.